out so bear with me it's been a couple weeks since I've been out detecting because I've been going through a little bit of a drought but we got a good rain yesterday so the grounds all nice and moist anyway down there in the plug um, I don't know if you can see but I the probe is standing right next to it. the probes about seven eight inches long but towards the bottom of it I actually ended up pulling out uh, 1940 weedy so Coins here, they're going to be really deep if they've been missed. Clearly this one was skipped over, but there was some trash in between it, but it's what the E-Track's for, man. Target separation, but I will get back at you. Caleb here. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been out, but my uh, club president stopped down and said hi. Showed me that he found a Merc Dime. Well, just to show him on a silver quarter. I don't know what it is yet, but I guess we'll find out. Ooh, is that a barber? No, or is it a standing lib? Ooh, it's a barber. Oh, my second one this year. Before I rub at this guy, I want to get it cleaned up and I'll get pictures of it. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Like it's some sort of a either good luck token or maybe I don't know. I'll have to get it cleaned up, but it's got some writing on it. Maybe it is a token. Get it cleaned up and I'll get pictures of it for you guys. Hey guys, Caleb here. Um, found this. Wasn't even a couple inches down, but hoping it's a silver bracelet. I tried checking for markings. I haven't found any yet, but to me it looks too shiny. I think it's junk jewelry and some of the stones and you can see the corrosion up there by my thumb it's fake but it had me going there it had the low tone of like big big silver jewelry so all right well if i find anything else that's sold school i will let you guys know well i'm kind of floored right now because i got like a 43 signal over here and I don't know if you could see that, but it's actually a Merc Dime. And right here, not even like an inch into the ground. I just plopped it out, saw the back of it, and I was like, holy crap. So yeah, silver number one for the day. And I'm pretty sure that bracelet that I found was junk. So it's a S mint. Oh, I have no idea what year. 24S. Too bad it wasn't a 21. <laughs> but, sweet. Alright guys. Woo! Hey guys, Caleb here. This is a place I did back in my very first video with Derek. Where I found that 1873 dime. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but at the bottom of that hole, I ended up pulling out this. You can see it, 1941 Jefferson nickel. So, yeah, it wasn't very deep, maybe four or five inches. But I'm hoping that there's more here at this place. I know we've hit it several times, but hopefully we can pull more. Cool. 
guys Caleb here. I don't know if you can see down in that hole. Doing some night detecting, got my headlamp and light on the camera, but that is about, uh, I don't know the length of the pinpointer. But anyway, I ended up getting one of my first ever major wheat spills. I don't know if you can see that one. That's a wheat, I'm sure that's a wheat. Two of these were clammed and stuck together, but being that deep, these have got to be weeds. No, I'll probably get these guys cleaned up when I get home, but no, five weeds in one hole. And one of the signals sounded really high. I thought it was going to be a silver, but yeah, it was just those two of them smashed together. But, man, those coins are green. Alright guys, well... I'll go ahead and get them cleaned up later and hopefully I'll have some pictures. Hey guys, Caleb here. Got a nickel signal and it was about seven inches down in that hole. Anyway, I plopped out this, uh, looks like it's a button. See a little shank up there. I just got to get it cleaned up and I'm sure that there's a little design on it. Way too big to be a coin, too thick, but I'll take an old button any day. It's always cool. All right, guys. And this is why a perseverance pays off, guys. Got a nice 1244 signal down in that little corner there. Anyway, I want to find out what this guy is. Looks like it's a Merc. Am I right? Yes, sir. 1944. Is there a mint on this guy? I don't care about rubbing right now. I got plenty of these. No mint. But that would be silver number one for the night, and that is sweet. Alright, cool. I'll get back at you. Alright, I decided to film another wheat here, just because, pulled the date off of it, I believe it's 1926. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. But anyway, I have dug about three different ones, both of them were 40, and then this one was a uh, 26, so I said, screw it. I'll show you that the coins are getting older over here, and this used to be an old fairground out here too. Found that out about two and a half, three years ago when I was out here before, so I'm going to keep hitting here, and who knows, maybe I just might come back tomorrow or something, but I'm going to stay out as late as I can. Alright. Hey guys, you're going to have to bear with me. Still at that old church. I'm pulling like almost an all-nighter here, but I'm using my headlamp so my camera battery is really low, but check that coin out down there. That is a barber dime. Using my hands to rub at it, but okay, bear with me here. Nineteen eleven, good detail on it. D mint. Sweet. Be getting close to wrapping a video here, so just goes to show you, no place is hunted out. Even though I've been here several times, I decided to wander into a different area that was more open, and so far it's paying off. Awesome, guys.